Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. We have some treasure hunting going on. The girls have this little treasure box. And they're, what are you doing? Playing like hide and seek with it? Yeah. Hide and find. And they're like, we have to go find the treasure. Is there anything in it? Is there any treasure inside? Yeah. Sure What's in the treasure box? box? Can I see? Oh my goodness. <gasps> That's treasure. Wow. Shiver me timbers. That looks pretty awesome. All kinds of goodies in there, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like trick or treating. <laughs> really? It's like trick or treating? <laughs> No, not yet. Oh my goodness. Nope. Don't fall. We have to put it up here so the evil dinosaur pirate doesn't get it again. Oh. <laughs> Where's the evil dinosaur pirate? Is he hiding too? It's in my room. Oh. Yeah, cool. that, is that his lair? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we even have an egg? What? Yeah, it's a new island species. Really? Yeah. Is it going to hatch? Something come out? Hey, we got to keep it warm. You gotta keep it warm and safe so it can hatch, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a surprise inside, I would imagine. Here so Earl doesn't get to it. That's a good spot for it. Good place to hide it. Keep it safe. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> We're talking about how careful you gotta be with it, and she flings it across the place. That you okay? Well, you good? Like no, I know. It's all right. It it's all good. It good. didn't fall. It didn't crack. <laughs> there you go. A nice little nest for your egg. Keep it warm. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's stuck on its blanket. Okay, so I have something to ask you guys. We are wanting to put a net or something along here and along the side where Alex is just to keep like we're not too, too concerned about Chelsea. I mean, we don't want her to fall off. So, I don't so, know how you're gonna play in here. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. Take the net off, I guess. Um, but anyway, we're thinking about doing like a netting right here. And then I thought about getting some netting or something for down below so we could create a ball pit. So, I want that down there to be a ball pit. And they have like the company that makes this has um, like different things you can do for a ball pit, but it wouldn't be like the correct size or something. I don't know. Anyway, I just thought it would be neat to get like netting and just do it that way or something. Michael and I were talking about this last night. So if you guys have any tips or ideas on what we can do for that, uh, let us know. I want it to be secure. So like nothing like pool noodles. A friend of mine had suggested pool noodles, but I don't even, I don't think that would work because it just wouldn't be secure enough. I don't think for like up top. So if you guys know of like where you can get netting or something that would work that, I was thinking last night or this morning, like they have those nets for your car that you put your groceries in. So you attach it to one side of your car, attach it to the other side and, you're, and it goes across your trunk. And I was like, maybe like that type of netting is what I'm I thinking think of. I think you need to have it like really attached though. And that just kind of connects to the side and there's like a little area. Well, what you can do is we can take these pipes apart and just slip it over there. But I don't know that that in particular would work, but that's the kind of netting I'm looking for. So just to give you guys an idea, I don't want it, the holes to be so big that Chelsea could get caught in them or anything. Or like if I'm doing a ball pit, I don't want the balls to get through the holes. So ball pit balls. And then we're thinking, um, like think of chicken wire. It's like smaller holes, like the size of a quarter. So maybe like something like that, just to give you an idea. We haven't even shopped or looked for anything yet, but that's what we're looking for. If anybody knows where we can find something like that, we'll probably um, have to start looking for that soon. The egg is starting to hatch, Chelsea yes. says. Let's bring it right here so I can reach it. We gotta see what's inside. Mommy has no idea. Does Chelsea know what's in it? I don't know. No. Oh, it's a birdie. <laughs> It's an angry bird's hatchling. Ah, so cute. Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, she's got to stay in her little nest. Yep, got to stay warm. Chelsea and I are playing shopping cart dash. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she was like, Mommy, push the card as fast as you can. Oh, don't tip it, Edward. Oh, naughty little dog. Oh, naughty. 
Okay, let's see you. Show us how it's done. I'm trying to move so I don't get my toes run over. Watch out for Mama's toes. Woo! Watch out for Edward. He almost got ran over. Oh my gosh. Look out, little doggy. Look out, little doggy. Go, little doggy, go. Go, go, go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he is biting it good. Edward. Oh, not the cabinets. Oh my gosh. Now Chelsea wants to play chase. And I say we gotta watch out for Eddie, right? You gonna run at super speed? Yeah. Show us a super speed. What's that from? Super speed. PJ Masks? Yeah. Woo! This girl is so fast. Never seen anything like it. Yeah. I've never seen a little one run as fast. Whoosh! Woo! Wow, there she goes. You're quick. She's faster than mommy. She catches me every time we play, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's play. Okay. Okay, after all that running around, whew, we just got done chasing each other around the island. We've been doing that like every day. <laughs> I think it's actually like t uh, tiring out Chelsea and helping mommy get in shape. <laughs> like this is all I need to do, just run around the kitchen. So every night, Chelsea wants me to chase her, so we play chase for a while. But we're gonna go check on Daddy. Whew, I'm winded because earlier, hi. Whoa, <laughs> wheelbarrow. He decided to do more work on the playhouse. Wow, look at that. Look out, Edward. Oh, it's, it's on now. Oh my gosh, and into the door. Woo. Yeah, I just took whatever pieces were left over and put them together. Oh, leftover pieces and made a wheelbarrow. Oh my, oh dear. This might be more of a problem though. I thought you were reconfiguring or something. Uh, I added a few more brackets in here. Oh, make it a little sturdier. That's, I couldn't do nothing with the pieces that I had other than throw them together on that. Whoa! <laughs> it's almost like a slide. Only if you had one more piece like that, you might be able to slide. Oh dear. Ready? Hold on, Charles. Oh, that's not sturdy at all. <laughs> nope. Not quite sturdy <laughs> enough. <laughs> Maybe for your baby dolls. <laughs> yeah. Put your baby doll on there. Eddie's like, I'm just gonna bite the wheels. Oh my goodness. All right, we flipped it over. I think this is a better way to go. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like her little. Nope. <laughs> it's like her little chariot. Oh. Into the. Oh, there. She's laying down on it. Oh man. Oh man. The wheels. I don't know if the wheels are not. They're Cabinet. bowing. <laughs> hey, they're uh, still spinning. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh golly. Hey. Tie Edward to it. <laughs> Make a sled dog. It's time for the question of the day. Today's question comes from SD Dolphins 2015. And the question is, no, this is an itching. If you were a tree, what tree would you be? I'd go with the sequoia. Big, big, strong, tall, old. old. <laughs> Lasts a long time. Yeah. All right. That's it. Good okay. answer. I go with the sycamore tree. I really like sycamore trees. Oh yeah. Alex and I both like the sycamore trees. Um, I was gonna say the weeping willow. I don't know. It's I just I've always thought they're really pretty. What? Uh, That's what I be of too. She's gonna be sick all the time. So, what now? Sycamore. <laughs> Well, you're old, so. <laughs> but I do like Michael's answer. Big, strong, lasts forever. Can't go wrong with that. So enough from you guys. If you were a tree, what tree would you be? Tell us in the comments below.